Hello there friends and welcome back for another mod review. Today I have two mods to review for you guys. First up we have the Man A Helmer BV TGS Gensam 583 version 1. That is a mouthful. That is basically a mobile chipper. It's a semi with a chipper attached to it and it can hook to a tipper as well and as well you have a crane up there that you can pick up the logs and deliver them right into the chipper. So an all-in-one type vehicle. Very cool. Got some neat little legs on it and stuff. Then next up we have a, sem a semi tipper 70,000 slash 6 version 1.0.0.3 <laughs> and uh, yeah this is basically a big old tipper that goes along with that it's a separate mod but what we're going to do guys is we're going to go over and take a look at these we're going to go over the shop and check out some of the specs then I'm going to get them out on the field and show you how this works and test it out so first off like I said this is the Man A Helmer BVTGS Gen Sun 583 version 1. The file size is 46 megabytes. The power, well, there's three different engine sizes, but I will give you the specs for the cheapest one. 352 kilowatts and 479 horsepower, and it can go up to 950 horsepower if you get the biggest engine type. The price in the shop is $249,000 with a $630 a day maintenance fee. The max speed is 80 kilometers an hour with a fuel capacity of 400 liters and like I said you can get up to 900 horsepower with this depending on what engine size and how much money you want to spend so let's take a little look at this very good job they did with that I like the spare tire on it as well it looks really cool now this isn't a multicolor it only comes in one color but you can pick your engine sizes and whether you want to have a hitch on the back or not so they're basically the two choices you have so let's jump on inside and test this out start it up all right so let's test some lights and beacons got our lights let me get in here a little closer guys hit it again we got some overheads and brights then we got some even brighter lights and then back off again so the lights work fine how about the signal lights very good hazards or a gall beacons work just fine is it just the two beacons on there yeah okay and the horn of course yeah, we get a big old loud horn. Okay, let's look inside the cab. Nice looking man cab for sure. Not bad at all. Yeah, very nice interior. Gauges work just fine. This thing is pretty peppy at 80 kilometers an hour too. Yeah, very impressive. Let me bring up my toolbar and I'll show you some of the uh, functions of this. So, we'll go back exterior here. Oh, by the way, there's another camera angle, but I really don't like it myself. It's You're up in the boom seat, but it's basically reverse controls. They're inverted. Up is down, and down is up. A little confusing, but some people may like that. So, you do get that extra camera angle. So, yeah, we're on the outside now. Okay, so, first thing you should know is you press the X button to put down your support feet. It's going to lift this whole beast right up off the ground. Check it out. Look at that. Then your chipper will come down as well. Now, another thing. Now, left control Z is going to be an important one because that'll toggle in between your arm and your pipe. So keep that in mind because you won't be able to use one until you switch it. So I'm going to unfold my pipe right now just to show you that. I'll have to put it back down to hook up to the tipper and stuff, but that's okay. So that's for the pipe. Then if I press uh, left control and Z, I can change that. So oh, that's for the pipe. It was already on there. My my bad. So yeah, you can control the pipe back and forth. It'll basically swing into place anyway if you're hooked up to a tipper. But that's just in case you want to aim it a little bit higher or lower or tip it to the side a little bit. So like I said, if you hit control and Z then you'll be able to control your boom here and that's just like the uh, and just like the the buffalo in the game and stuff you should be pretty familiar with the controls I won't have to go over that so I'm gonna press uh, control and Z again just to switch back I'm gonna put my pipe back pipe back oh my buttons a little sticky guys and X will get your chipper unfolded and put the support legs down so we will come back to this momentarily 
I do believe that's about it for that until we review it. Look at this tipper. Now this holds 70,000 liters. It's pretty long indeed. There's a few different variations you can get of this. I got the oversized load. Depending on what you want. Very nice tipper. So it's just called a semi tipper 70,000 slash 6 version 1.0.0.3. The file size for this is only 8.3 or 8.5 megabytes. The price in the shop is 69,000. This is the cheaper version. And a daily maintenance fee of $75. A capacity 7,000, 70,000 liters. So let's go over the shop. We'll take a quick look at these and then we'll get hooked up and test them out. So, it, it's not going to be under forestry, your truck is going to be under trucks, you're under your semis, there it is right there. Like I said, that's the cheapest version right there, but you can mess around with these and beef it up a little bit. So, your attachers, you can go standard or a back attacher, that'll cost you an extra 700 And then you have your engine set up, so you got the D2066 here, then you got that, and you'll notice that the uh, this is jumping up. This is going up in power and the price is going up as well. So, so there you jumped from uh, that to 718 horsepower, then all the way up to 950 horsepower. So there's three different engine sizes here, depending on what you want and how much you want to spend. So if you're fully done out with the 950 and the back attacher, it's going to cost you uh, 285,200. So that is that. So let's go over to the tippers. That's where you'll find your BSM trailer. It's not called that on the uh, on the other thing, but there it is for sixty nine thousand. Holds all kinds of stuff, guys. Look at that. It goes right off the screen. Tons and tons of stuff. Holds seventy thousand liters, like I said, and has a seventy five dollar day maintenance fee. Okay, guys, that will just about cover it for that. So let's get hooked up here, and we'll get moving. So I got some logs cut here already. Now you can hook this to any tipper. It's just this is the one that was in the picture. So I went hunting for it and I found it. And it just looks really cool. And when you tip this, that whole thing tips up. Let me show you. You have to hit. Uh, am I on the back? Yes. You have to. Well, Control I. You guys know that for the manual dump. And there you go. It won't go all the way up. It'll only go up just a little higher than that. And then we'll stop. Yeah. So it's enough to get it out. The picture on the thing shows it up a lot higher than this, but I have a newer version of it. So, control and I to get that back down. Okay, so let's get set up here. No, I'm hooked up. Yes, I am. Let's press X to get our feet out. And our chipper down. I'm going to press the old button to get my pipe out and aim it towards the tipper. By the way, you can close the top of this tipper as well show you that oops there you go looks pretty cool with that black top on it by the way I almost forgot to show you that as well as far as the tipper goes you can change all kinds of things with this like if you want this main color changed it says it there main color but it's actually this one here so that is your main color that is basically your fenders and undercarriage you can go with the standard or wide tires your rim color of course and your design like I said you can take any of these. I take it the uh, the convoy is so you can hook multiple ones of these together. That's long enough, I think. And of course, I have the uh, the oversized load, so they'll cost you a few extra dollars, of course. So let's drop that back out. We'll go back to the semi here. We'll start them up. Then I, what am I on? I'm on the pipe, so I have to switch over to the arm with Control Z. And let's go pick up some logs. Wow, this is super sensitive. It's probably my mouse, though. Let's get rid of that screen so we can get a nice look at this. Yeah, I'm not going to go over the controls because you guys should be pretty familiar with the controls for these booms by now. Yeah, this is very touchy. I think it's my most sensitivity. It might be up a little bit. Yeah, these locks are a little close together. Just bear with me, guys. A little bit of practice here. Okay, we can grab something there, hopefully. Yes. 
barely. But we got it, I think. Okay, let's tune this guy in. And they usually feed in pretty good. As long as they don't drop the logs, it's really jerky. Getting off course here a little bit. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I got a horrible angle here. Come on, Chipper, where are you going? There we go. That's a bit better. Get in there. There we go. Once you get it going in so far, you'll be able to let it go. But not just yet. Yeah, it takes a little practice getting used to that. That's why when I hate when people think the game's dumb and it's not very uh, hard to play. I beg to differ myself. Because, I mean, just to use his arm and control that, it's unbelievably... Uh... Oh, you're going to fall, aren't you? Come on. Be a sport. knock that out of the way because it's like pretty much there now. Just gotta be very careful picking up this log. And I wasn't careful enough, I suppose. Look, it's kind of moving towards it, but I just it needs another little boost. I like how that thing moves up to adjust for the log. Okay, let's try that, guys. Maybe that'll work. Looks like it's on there. Yeah, I'm not the quickest at this stuff. It's gonna help it out a little bit, but I'm scared I'm gonna knock it off too. There we go. Get in there. Yeah, there we go, guys. All right, let's try log number two. So there you go. Now, if you find that sometimes it looks like it's loading up and your numbers aren't moving like it's doing now it's just because you got to switch back to the pipe and then it'll start moving again so don't let that fool you because it did for me at first because you'll notice the numbers aren't moving i don't know why it does that but but you still get the chips out so i'll show you what i mean momentarily okay Grab this guy, he seems to be fairly close. Come on. Don't drop. This is super sensitive. Indeed. Somewhat. I know he's going to drop that log here in a second. Can I drop it? Oh, please. Go in, go in. It wants to go in. If it just, just get a little bite on it, it'll keep pulling it in. I just don't want to knock it off. <laughs> oh, good lord. There we go, guys. I was going to try moving the uh, chipper a little bit, but we got the gist. I'm just going to cut another one or two guys, and then we'll, uh, we'll go dump it out. I was meaning to review this mod a while ago, and I totally forgot about it, but it definitely deserves a look. I really like it. Uh, you're gonna not, not work with me here, are you? Let's see what happens. Oh, yeah. Okay. 
I'll try this one more. And then I'll show you what I mean regarding the pipe. Okay guys, I seem to uh, figure figured out what the problem is. I went and switched tippers. I thought it might have been the tipper itself. But it looks like the man actually has its own holding tank. And it seems to be getting confused. So when after I detached from it and pulled up beside it, it took the stuff out of the reserve tank here and it put it inside the tipper. So it's, I don't know, there's something like not right there. I'm not too sure what it is. But it will unload. But I didn't know that this thing had its own holding tank. So... For some reason, it won't spit it out when you're hooked up to it, but if you unhook from it and pull up beside it, it empties into it. So it does work fine. It's just there's a little funny little quirk there. I'm not too sure why it does that, but besides that, this thing is mint. It works really, really great. So, uh, yeah, if you're not into that tipper, then you could always go with a regular tipper as well. So uh, just to let you know, it does work. It just... Um, it, it, it won't unload the holding tank for some reason and you can't switch back and forth between loading tanks but like I said when I disconnected it and pulled up beside it it did empty out into it so even if you had a truck beside you it would it would fill that up no problem so there you have it guys that was the man a Hummer BV TGS Gen's 583 version 1 the file size is 46 megabytes and then we have the semi tipper 70,000 slash 6 version 1.003 and the file size is 8.5 megabytes that's a big long tipper I was using just a little while ago so uh, additional information and links can be found down below in the description guys if you enjoyed today's video maybe you could leave a like on your way out and if you're new to the channel guys why don't you go ahead and click on Nick right there in the middle of your screen and I'll bring you new mod reviews every second day and let's plays every other day Plus, my Patreon link is just below if you'd like to help donate to a smaller channel. It always really helps. So, until next time, take care, and we'll see you all in the next one.